assalam alaikum students today we discuss about the fuzzy implications what are the fuzzy implications first we define it a fuzzy implication A fuzzy implication is a map this a map from zero one scale interval to zero one because we are discussing about the fuzzy numbers so here we mention that the uh, uh, our domain is zero one cross zero one and our range is also zero one so a fuzzy implication is a map 0 1 square to 0 1 satisfying uh, satisfying this table here we have 1 0 here is the table Here again we have 1 and 0 there is the fuzzy implication so in this table if we apply the fuzzy implication we see that 1 0 is 0 1 implication 0 is 0 otherwise all are 1 in this table so if this condi these conditions are satisfied then we say that this is a fuzzy implication so this map is called fuzzy implication if we see we apply these fuzzy implication we see that if we apply a fuzzy implication for example uh, 1 implies 1 then what will the answer 1 implies 1 means answer is 1 now we apply 0 implies 1 we again get answer 1 and when we apply 0 implies 0 then again we get the answer is 1 from this table we can see that if we apply 0 with 0 then we get 1 when we apply 0 May, uh, implication 1 we get 1 1 implies 1 we get 1 but if we apply implication 1 to 0 then our answer will be 0 so this is the basic definition of fuzzy implication if these four conditions are satisfied then we say that this map is a fuzzy implication now we see the next R implication what is R implication an R implication is a map and our implication is a map this implication from again 0 1 interval scale to 0 1 such that such that if we apply the implications x on y, x and y that means x implication y this is called r implication 
x in the in, in the x r implication y is equal to max of z belongs to zero one interval any fuzzy number such that x delta z is less than equal to y if this condition satisfies then we say that it is an r implication this in uh, this condition max of uh, it can be written in this way also we can write it in this way max of z belongs to 0 1 such that x delta z is less than equal to y where x y and z are fuzzy numbers delta is t norm and this is max t norm max is a function now we see that what is 1 implies 1 now we check that either this r implication is an implication we will prove that it is an implication so we uh, show that what is 1 1 so we solve it here we find mm, it will be maximum of z belong we apply this formula this upper function x implies y is equal to max of z belongs 0 1 such that x delta z is less than equal to 1 this is the definition of r implication we apply it on a, a x and y and here we see that uh, z belongs to 0 1 interval such that 1 delta z is less than equal to 1 because here x is 1 and y is also 1 then 1 delta z is less than equal to 1 and we see that if we apply 1 delta z is always z from t norm we know that so it can be written in this way maximum of z belongs to 0 1 such that 1 delta z z is less than equal to 1 so it means all the numbers there is no condition to z so z is any number between 0 and 1 so it means z is all the numbers from 0 to 1 now we take a max of interval 0 to 1 we will get max of z belongs to 0 1 so all the numbers are z and we see that it will be 1 because maximum number between interval 0 and 1 is 1 so this shows that 1 implication 1 is equal to 1 now we see that what is uh, 1 implication 1 r implication 0 if you apply r implication on 1 get maximum of z belongs to 0 1 interval such that x is 1 so it means 1 delta z 1 delta z should be less than equal to 0 so we will take any number z take number z that if you apply it with 1 t norm with 1 it should be less than 0 or equal to 0 so there is no number other than 0 that 1 delta 0 is 0 uh, so it means the value of z is 0 so maximum of z we will get 0 so maximum 0 we will get 0 this implies 1 implication 0 we will get answer 0 we saw that similarly now we apply 0 implication to 0 now we see that what is the answer again we apply the same formula of r implication we will get maximum of z belongs to 0 1 interval such that 0 delta z is less than equal to 0 so if we take any number z here z can be 1 z can be 0 z can be 0.5 so if we will take any number z z is equal to 1 then again 0 delta 1 is 0 so 
so it means it has all the numbers from 0 to 1 so maximum of z belongs to 0 1 where 0 1 is any number between 0 and 1 so maximum number between 0 and 1 is again 1 so this shows that 0 on implication 0 is equal to 1 now we apply last lastly we apply 0 implication 1 we will check that what is 0 implication 0 or implication 1 we will find its answer we will see that maximum of z belongs to 0 1 such that 0 delta z it is less than equal to 0 here x is also 0 sorry it is less than equal to 1 it should not be zero. so here x is 0 and y is 1 so 0 delta z is less than equal to 1 here we again see that 0 delta z if we take any number z if you take 1 in place of z we will get that 0 delta 1 is again 0 which is less than 1 so z it can be any number between 0 and 1 so maximum z and 0 1 is again 1 so this shows that 0 implication 0 r implication 1 is again equal to 1 so these all conditions satisfied that only one uh, r implication 0 only one r implication 0 is this is the one uh, our implication 0 is 0 otherwise all are 1 so it shows that th so this r implication is uh, fuzzy implication as well so r implication is fuzzy implication as well we will take some examples of it this r implication and we'll find it we'll check it um, we get a formula as well that if we apply x implication rx r implication y we will see that it is basically maximum of z belongs to 0 1 interval such that z delta x is less than equal to y so if we see that if x is less than equal to y then z is le uh, less than equal to 1 if we apply t norms of we, we are taking two inequalities and we apply the fourth condition of t norm we will see that we will see that x delta z is less than equal to y x delta z is less than equal to y because x delta z is equal to y delta 1 and y delta 1 is y so it means that x delta z is less than is less than equal to y so this condition also holds for our implication is also hold by the formula of t now now uh, we see some examples for example we will take example 1 for to calculate the our implication uh, our if we take x delta y is equal to mean of x y mean of x y can also be written as x and y now we take its r implication in this case x r implication y is equal to max of z belongs to 0 1 interval such that mean of x y because here we are taking x delta y so x delta y is in our case x mean of x y this should be less than y so it shows that uh, there are two conditions because if x is less than equal to y if x is less than equal to y then we will get answer 1 x is less than or equal to y if x is strictly greater than y then it will be if x is strictly greater than then we will get y answer is y here we are taking mean of xz sorry we are applying formula 
this is x delta z is less than equal to y so we will get mean of x z is less than equal to y so this condition holds for this our first example now we see the second example now we are taking example 2 in example 2 we are taking t norm x delta y is equal to x multiplied by y this is also t norm we will see that if we apply t norm on this x implies x r, r implication y we will get maximum of z belongs to 0 1 such that mean of sorry it is not mean it is multiplication x delta z means x into z is less than equal to y because we are we are applying here x delta z is less than equal to y it will become x z is less than equal to y so this condition shows that this implication x uh, x r implication y is equal to 1 if x is less than and equal to y and it is y over x if x is greater than y so this is our case here if we find the value of z we will see that z is less than y over x so for in case of x greater than y we will get the case y over x we are finding this value here from here because this we know that x less than equal to y it is always 1 but if x is greater than y the first value first number x is uh, greater than to y then we will have y is y over x now we see uh, our third example it will clear the concept as well example 3 here we are taking the uh, t norm x delta y is equal to max of zero comma x plus y minus one we are taking this t norm now we again apply the r implication on it x r implication y is equal to max of z belongs to 0 1 such that x delta z is less than equal to y so we can write it in this way maximum of z belongs to 0 1 interval such that maximum value of 0 comma x plus y minus 1 is less than y if we see that the maximum value of this if we solve this t norm we see that maximum of 0 and x plus y minus 1 will always be this so we will get x plus y minus 1 should be less than y Oh, sorry if we uh, if we apply x delta z then it will be x plus z minus one. it will be x plus z minus one so x plus z minus one is less than equal to y we find the value of z we get that z is less than equal to y minus x plus one so it means if x is less than y then z should be then our uh, t no then our r implication will be y minus x plus 1 so it means that x implication x r implication y is equal to 1 if x is less than equal to y and y minus x plus 1 in case of x is greater than y strictly greater than y then we say that this r implication is 5 so to find the value for x is greater than y we will use this inequality we directly solve the here and find the value of z and we, the, we will put here other value 1 ok uh, 
Uh, now we have uh, one more example. Uh, basically, we have a theorem. This theorem shows that let delta be an arch median T node. Delta be arch median T node. Arch median T node. And F is generator of T node. And F is a generator. of T node. Then X implication Y and X implication Y is equal to F inverse of F of Y divided by F of X mean of 1. So, we solve it here and uh, to prove this theorem since we know that we, have, we know that x delta y is equal to f inverse of f of x into f of y union f of 0. We apply this t norm here. Now, we calculate x r implication y which is equal to again max of z belongs to 0 1 interval such that x delta z is less than equal to y. So, we apply we get maximum of z belongs to 0 1 interval such that we apply here we get f inverse of f of x into f of z union f of 0 and it is less than equal to y where we know that f is a map from 0 1 to a 1. So, this implies a is between 0 and 1, but a is strictly less than 1. Now, if we solve it, we see that in this implication, we have we know that f inverse of f of z into f of x union f of 0 it is less than equal to y we will take y on the right side we apply f on both sides we will get f of z into f of x union f of 0 is less than equal to f of y f of 0 is equal to a. So, we get f of z into f of x union a is less than equal to f of y, but in our case a is 0. So, we will take it. Uh, so, max with 0 is nothing. So, we get f of z into f of x is less than equal to f of y. Again, we have f of z is equal to is less than equal to f of y divided by f of x. So, we get z is less than equal to f inverse of f of y divided by f of x and we can take its mean with 1 as well. So, this is our required answer. We see that we, here we find that x implication y r implication y is equal to 
f inverse of f of y divided by f of x and y. So here is the proof. In this way we can solve the next theorems as well. Thank you very much.